Hi all, this is Emma and welcome to another studio vlog. This is my fourth studio vlog since opening my Etsy shop and I did my original launch and then showed you making some other bits and pieces but in this one I'm actually going to take you behind the scenes of a new product launch and show you what I'm working on and how the launch has gone. You might have seen that throughout April over on Instagram I was doing a daily drawing challenge. It was the edible alphabet challenge. So every single day I put up a new drawing and went through the alphabet and for each one I came up with a food beginning with that name and did a cute illustration with a food pun. I'll show you some of these on the screen now. And people seem to really enjoy them and I could see the same people coming back to look at them day after day and see what I'd drawn the next day and I managed to do them all except for X which I think was a bit of a yeah it was impossible to do and yeah I was happy with how it turned out and that I kept up with it and now have a series of 25 drawings that I thought why don't I actually do something with I posted over on my Instagram stories asking which ones people like the most and also whether they would like to see a range of products made from these designs and people seem to really like the idea. So I'm now going to go about having a go at designing products. So what I've decided to do is to create possibly prints. I'm going to have a look at that. I'm definitely going to do die cut stickers. I might do a sticker sheet with a kind of mix of them on there. Um, but I think they'd have to be pretty small so I'm not sure how that's going to go and also I'm going to do for the first time greetings cards because a lot of the kind of puns that I came up with would work really well on the front of greetings cards I thought so I've got some card blanks they've actually arrived today so I'm going to unpackage them with you I haven't seen them yet and just some craft coloured envelopes and we'll have a play around with product samples and see what they look like and the print quality with my printer. So before I do that and get into the rest of the vlog, I wasn't sure whether to share this or not, but those of you who follow my videos regularly will notice that I am not in the office and craft room that I put together in one of my previous videos. And I just wanted to address it because I thought I might get comments. Obviously this is personal and difficult, but I do share a lot of my life on the channel and I've talked about my husband a lot on this channel. Currently me and my husband have separated and I'm living at my mom's house until I can get back on my feet which a big part of this is trying to grow my Etsy shop and my business and yeah try and support myself so I'm working in a very different setup I've gone from a kind of big office space that I custom built with this kind of job in mind to a bedroom with an office in the corner that we are being creative with. So I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. Um, and I would love to hear from you, what kind of spaces you work in, maybe you started in a smaller space and like your tips for managing it, particularly if you're kind of living and working out of one room or sleeping and working out of one room, what are your tips for coping with that and not going stir crazy? <laughs> I would love to know. So I'm on the bed now. Um, so this is my bedroom area and you can see that I've got this little office area over in the corner. So I've just got some files and things that I need to sort in here. This has got like planners and cables and Cricut supplies in. This has got all my papers in that needs to be sorted out and the package on the top is the card blanks. Then I've got my Cricut machine. This is like all my shop packing supplies I've just squeezed in there and then some miscellaneous craft and art supplies at the bottom. I've got my washi ring on my bed and then uh, if we go around to my desk I've just got a little glass desktop that I can sit and work at and then if I need to pack orders or produce products I just lift these things off there and I use this surface and then just around this side of the room on top of these drawers I have got my printer here and then this is my sticker box and it's got my stickers and art prints in the front and then these are my die cut stickers in there and then you can see this is the rest of my room needs a tidy and then Maggie say hello Maggie hey Maggie Maggie's here so that's good isn't it yes it is it is good Yes, so she keeps me company. So that's where I am with things, as you can see a big difference. So yeah, tips appreciated. 
And now what I plan to do is get on with turning my Instagram designs for the Edible Alphabet series into stickers and greeting cards. So reformatting really, doing a bit of design changes, design tweaks, and I'll show you how that's going. So let's go. since I last recorded and I think I'm looking a lot less tired. I just watched last week's footage back and I was like whoa um, that is a tired face but you know what there's a lot going on so this is a real behind the scenes. So the reason I haven't been picking up the camera and filming in the last week is that it's been really hard to get stuff done here. Um, not because of living here but because there's been work made in and out like every day doing DIY inside, outside. There's three people trying to work from home. The doorbell's going all the time. The dog's been barking. And there's also a machine making a road outside this window, which um, makes a sort of booming noise like boom, 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 boom on a rhythm from about half past eight to half past four every day. I don't think it's gonna pick it up now, but I can hear it and the other day it was so close to the house that everything in this room was vibrating <laughs> so <laughs> the last week I've been doing bits and pieces that I can do which is some of the footage that I included in the montage you've just seen of me creating designs and things but it was too noisy to really like pick up and film and check in with you but the house is empty the workmen have gone so I decided to check in with you so this was actually the original day that I was going to launch my Edible Alphabet collection. What is it with me being like overly optimistic? I could have done it. However, I decided to push it back to the 7th of May, which is next Friday, because I don't know if I've mentioned this on here, but I have joined the Confident Creators Club, which is a monthly membership by Sam over at Squeak and Shout to try and help people running handmade businesses learn new skills and develop and kind of grow that handmade business and I've been a fan of hers for a while listening to her podcasts and I decided to I've done one of her courses before as well which I think I mentioned in a vlog and I decided to bite the bullet and join the club and there's a new course coming out tomorrow on successful product launches so I thought you know what I'm gonna keep planning my launches and things I spoke to Sam on a zoom call on her like she does twice monthly, um, what are they called? Twice monthly coaching calls. And I spoke to Sam and I got some tips off her, but yeah, the course, the full course is coming out tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is I've been prepping the launch. I'm like prepping things behind the scenes. And I plan to just dive into that course tomorrow and see what else I can learn from it to try and make next Friday as successful as possible. So one of the things that I decided to do this time was to try and involve people over on Instagram, my Instagram followers, in creating the collection. 
So I've decided not to launch the whole 25 designs. Um, what I've decided to do is to get the Instagram community to help me pick five and the favourite five will be released as a postcard, a sticker and a greetings card. So I have 15 products in total for the first launch. Before I decided that, I'd done all the sticker designs and all the postcard designs. So it doesn't matter what people pick, the designs are done. And the greetings cards won't take too long to put together. With the greetings cards, it depends which designs people pick as their top five. Some of them lend themselves better to greeting cards than others in terms of like the message that's on the front. So for example, like, Shrimply the best and a toast to you and let me think of one more uh, Orangey glad we're friends They lend themselves well to the types of occasions people might send a card for Whereas ones like traffic jam whilst it's like a cute Illustration and I'm sure somebody would still send it as a card They don't quite lend themselves as well to a greetings card. So for the greeting card specifically, depending on what are the top five, I might switch one or two just for the greeting card designs. But what I've done is I put over on my stories the top 10 that people liked the most and interacted with the most, and then people are voting for their favorite top five. So today at about midday-ish, that story will end and I'll go in and count the votes and yeah, I'll be announcing on Instagram later today what the top five are, so I'm excited for that. I also want to finally unbox my postcards and my greeting cards. So these are the greetings cards that I ordered. I ordered them from a company called Monkey Monkey. I will put links in the description below. I paid for these myself, nothing was gifted. Um, I had heard good things about these and then since they were delivered, someone said, oh, I wasn't that impressed with the print quality before, but I don't know whether that is to do with print settings and finding the right print settings for the paper type that you've bought. So we're gonna have an experiment here and hopefully I will like them very much. So yeah, they're based in the UK. So let's open this up, where are my scissors? <laughs> this is the problem when you're in a small room and a new space is I can never remember where I've put things. So, there we go. Okay, we're cooking. We are cooking. These and these. Oh, I have scored the top one. So we've lost a product already. That's fine. That was user error. Let's do it this way. These are the products that I bought from Monkey Monkey. The first thing I bought were the actual card blanks themselves and I wanted A6 cards so I bought A5 card blanks and they're pre-scored which I really wanted, I didn't want to have to score them all by hand and then you just fold them in half when they come out of the printer. Somebody told me that you do it that way but I don't think that's right, I think you do it that way. We'll Google that, or, yeah we'll Google that. So. They're pre-scored, so you feed it through the printer, either single-sided or double-sided, if you're having a message on the inside. I think I'm going to keep mine blank. Um, so, for example, when I set up the design on the computer, this will be my back page with the logo and stuff on, and this will be the actual design. And then once it's come off the printer, I just fold it in half, and we're ready to go. And you have your card. They're 300 GSM in thickness, they're nice and thick so they're not too flimsy and yeah they stand up nice by themselves. And they were 4 99 for 50, that was the pack size I chose. And then to go with them I decided I was going to get craft envelopes, so these are just C6 envelopes that I bought that have this nice kind of fleck on them if you can see there's different coloured flex in the envelope and they were £4.89 for 50. So altogether I spent £9.88, delivery was free and a set will essentially be delivered like this. I need to decide exactly how I'm sending these, whether I will put the card inside the envelope and send it that way 
so people will receive their cards like this. What I don't really want to do is have excessive packaging. So I definitely don't want to use cello bags or like clear plastic bags, which is kind of how you see things presented a lot in card shops, but it's just plastic waste. And so far all my packaging is completely recyclable. I could tie something around here like twine to keep it together. I just don't want the actual card itself to get damaged. And I could do a sort of envelope in an envelope situation. But again, it just seems like excessive packaging. And even if the packaging's recyclable, I just don't want it to be excessive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about packaging, whether you would rather packaging was kept to a minimum for environmental reasons, whether that would worry you about products being damaged or marked. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So I'll have a little bit of a think about that. So that is my card blank order. So we've got those and like I said, I'll test the print quality and different print settings and we'll see how that turns out. And then we've got the postcards that I ordered from Amazon UK. Now these are, what I originally thought I would do was just get A4 card stock, print four to a page of A6 postcards, and then use my paper cutter to quarter them and I'd have my postcards. However, that's a lot of paper cutting and I want them to be precise sizes and yeah, I was just looking for alternative options. So when I was looking for kind of paper thicknesses for postcards, I found these and I thought they would be, brilliant, a interesting option to try. So let's get them out. They are blank postcards, they're already A6 size. So if we can get them out, I got a pack of 100 of these. It was actually way more cost effective to get 200, but I just didn't want to be overrun with them if the postcards didn't sell. And I've kind of done that all the way through starting my business. I don't want to be overrun with products that may or may not sell. And also, yes, it's more cost effective per item, but it's more money in general and obviously when you're starting a shop you want to keep your outgoings as low as possible so these are from the Worcestershire stationery company handmade stationery from England and I got them on Amazon UK now the great thing about these is the backs of the postcards are pre-printed so I don't need to worry about that I did design a postcard back in and I was kind of playing around with how it printed and the sizes and things and I wasn't 100% with it but now I don't need to worry about it <laughs> because that's already done and then the other side is the side that you would print on but you can also um, paint on these draw on them like whatever you wanted to do the paper is good for and I've seen people in the reviews for this product saying that they'd kind of hand painted things to send to family and friends during the lockdown which I thought was a really sweet idea. They're 350 GSM cardstock um, so it's nice and sturdy and should withstand going in the post without getting all bent um, and the idea is that I will just run this straight through my printer and then I have my postcard ready to go. So we've got a hundred of these and again, I'll check out different print settings and how they print on this and we'll see what turns out the best. These were 4.99 for hundred. So yeah, good price for those. And we'll see how they go. So now I'm gonna leave it for the people on Instagram to decide their top five designs before I go any further with those products. So I'm gonna start editing next Wednesday's video. So I'll check in again with you this afternoon to let you know which designs won. In fifth place was my catch-up design. So this will be turned into a bookmark and postcard and greetings card. So if I flip my camera around, that isn't it. That's it. This was my ketchup design. K is for ketchup and it says let's catch up sometime. So that will be made into a bookmark, postcard and greetings card. Then in fourth place was one of my favourites which was the shrimp and it says you're shrimply the best and I think that will work really well on a greetings card and postcard actually. So I'm really excited to be making that one. 
Um, in third place, people liked was The Mushroom, which is another one of my favourites. And it says, love you so mush. I really like these little mushroom people. In second place was my apple, the first one I ever did. And it says, working on my core. And I love his little six pack made of apple pips. And then in top place, people really liked, where's my mouse? my donut so do not disturb um and yeah so that was the one that got the most votes by far actually people really seemed to like that five stickers that people voted for over on Instagram. I played around with printing all the designs before I decided how many I was going to do in the launch and this is actually the only one that I'm completely happy with. The rest of them I think are too small and the text is too small. Um, here are some of the others. So for example these five over here I really like the size of these, how these came out. These ones I think are just too small. So what I'm going to do is go back into Photoshop and just adjust these. I probably will make this a tiny bit bigger and yeah adjust these so that they're bigger. You can see the illustration more but you can also see the text more. And today's plan is that I have a giveaway launching over on Instagram to win a bundle of a sticker and postcard, which means I actually need my stickers and postcards to be done so that I can take pictures of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. <laughs> So it's now two days till the Edible Alphabet launch and I shared a giveaway over on Instagram which is the first time I've done that. I'm really excited to have done it and um, people are entering and participating and that feels really good. So it feels like there's a bit of a buzz kind of ahead of the launch on Friday. Today is the day where I need to actually do my Etsy listings so people can actually buy the products. So this is always a long day I find. Um, I need to take the photographs, figure out what keywords I'm going to use, figure out the descriptions I'm going to write, put it all together, edit the photos etc etc. So I'm hoping it doesn't take too long um, but I've got a feeling it's going to take most of the day but I ended up working till like at 20 to 10 last night so I've had a bit of a slow start this morning me and my dog Maggie have just been cuddling in bed watching some studio vlogs and yeah walked down to the post box to post some orders and it's now 20 to 11 so let's get cracking before I can start my Etsy listings I actually need to get tonight's video scheduled up on YouTube obviously it will be a week ago by the time the studio vlog comes out but I need to get that scheduled so that people can actually watch it at six o'clock so that usually takes me about 45 minutes and then I'm gonna get cracking on with the Etsy listings and I'll bring you along and show you all the different things that are involved so let's go quickly <laughs>
to you now what time it is. It is half past eight in the evening. Um, obviously I stopped for lunch and I stopped for dinner. Um, not for what I felt like that long, but yeah, it has taken me all day as predicted, <laughs> even longer than I thought to get the Etsy listings all done, but they're done, they're drafted, they're ready to go on Friday. And that means that I can take a bit of time off tomorrow before the launch, which is nice. Um, I do need to do some social media stuff. I'm not gonna do any more today. What isn't done today just is not getting done. Um, I've just shared my video and I am a done for the day. So all I need to do is put away all my equipment and get comfy, ready for the sewing bee on the TV at nine o'clock. If anyone else watches the sewing bee, let me know. Let me know who you're rooting for this season. Um, probably no one will know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so the plan is over the next few days is just gonna be lots of social media content promoting the launch. And then I will check in with you on Friday when I draw the giveaway winner and we actually launch the new collection. So I'll see you then, goodbye. Hi everyone, it is launch day and I am tired but excited and ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, this launch has coincided with some pretty bad mental health days, including today. And I guess I just wanted to share that because if you're another small business owner, you might see other shop owners and you might see kind of their behind the scenes and think they're always like, go, go, go. And they're doing all these things and they're doing it really well. And they're always so upbeat and positive. The fact is that's not always the case. I am really excited about the launch. Um, I wish I was feeling more today than I'm actually feeling. Um, but that's just the reality of being a person who has anxiety and depression. So I am getting myself there um, now that it's getting closer and I feel a little bit more organised. I have, I'm feeling a lot more excited about actually being able to push launch and watch this launch event run. So this time I'm doing an event from Friday to Tuesday. Tuesday's actually my birthday. So I'll end on Tuesday and I'll be releasing different social media content each day to try and encourage people to just get involved and look at the products and find out what's behind them and why I created them and just try and get more people looking at my shop and my products. So that is exciting. I need to actually prepare some content so that I can have a little bit of a break over the weekend because like I said, like I'm not feeling my best and if I just continue to push, 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 I, yeah, it won't, it just won't happen. It won't end well. And next week is actually Mental Health Awareness Week and I wanted to do a series of illustrations to release one a day, um, which I think I am gonna do, but it would be pretty, what's the word? I'm losing all my words at the minute. Um, hypocritical. It would be pretty hypocritical of me to post all about mental health and looking after yourself whilst not looking after myself in order to be able to do that. So that's just a little bit about where I am, honestly, um, because life's up and down and you, Yeah, I think it's important to share that. What you see online is just a snapshot and it's like not always the complete picture. And so, yeah, I always just wanna be honest on, I always just wanna be honest on this channel. However, I am excited about the launch because I've worked really hard and I wanna be able to push go and hopefully see some sales. And yeah, just, look at what's happening and feel proud of my achievements. There's 25 minutes to go until the launch. About 20 minutes ago, I released the giveaway winner. So I'm gonna include that footage in a sec and you can see how I did my giveaway behind the scenes. But right now, what I'm gonna do is just prep some social media images ready to go live at one o'clock. So I'll leave you with this footage and then I'll come back. I'm about to draw the winner of the giveaway who's going to win a complete set of their favourite design. So a sticker, a postcard and a greetings card. And I have my spreadsheet here with all the giveaway entries. 
Okay, so I've got my list of giveaway entries here in Excel. Lots of people had more than one entry. There's actually been 112 entries in total and I've just randomised this list in Google Sheets so that they're all in a random order now. And then I've opened a random number generator. What have I done with it? So I need to change the maximum to 112 entries. And then we're going to click generate. Ooh, number 16. Okay. Number 16 is my random travels. So congratulations to you. I'll be sending you a direct message so that you can claim your prize and I'll send that out to you and package that up for you this weekend. So congratulations. I'm really, really pleased to have done my first giveaway and I hope you like the goodies when they arrive. Okay, it's two minutes to, so I'm going to sneak the products live a couple of minutes early so I can just make sure they work and also add them into the sale so that people get the discount. So let's have a look. Um, what have I done with it? Okay, here we go. Here's my shop. Here's my drop listing. So I'm going to tick them all and I'm going to click publish. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <sighs> okay, they're published. So there are now I refresh my listings. 49 products in my shop in total. So, okay, yeah. No, I've got 53 products now live in my shop now that it's done its business. So let's go to my Etsy shop. That's my website. I'm too excited. Oh my god, they're in there. Okay, they're all in there. Let's just click on one. Oh my god, they look so good. I'm really proud of myself. Okay. Um, yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Got my reviews, estimated arrival. Yeah, 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 yeah. They look beautiful. So now I just need to share it on Instagram. So let's do that. Okay, so. Let's get this shared because it's 102 and I haven't shared it on my Instagram. So <laughs> YouTube. Right, no. I get distracted when I look at all the apps on my phone. Post now. Let's do this. And post. Okay, there it is. New products now available. 10% off until Tuesday. Now, the thing I always find at this point is like thinking of all the places I can share it. Um, I've already shared it over on my YouTube. What? Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's madness. I've just sold two postcards, two, three, four, and five greetings cards. That's like absolute madness. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm not expecting other sales to come in that quick, but we'll leave on the sound on my phone and see if we get any more kitchings. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it more now. The feelings are bubbling back up. Yeah, it's here, Em. I know. Like, this is something that you've been building up to for a long time now, and you've done it. It's mad. Yeah, so well done, you. Well Thank done. You. Thank you very much. How do you feel about it? Oh, uh, stressed and overwhelmed, but sort of in good ways. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I feel... God, I feel good. I feel like this is like going to be better than my last launch and that's like all I can try and do really so. Yeah. Okay, well, I've shared it. So all I can do now is kind of sit back and see what happens. Um not completely because I'm going to be sharing different types of content over the next few days. Um I want to get some reels posted and yeah, different TikToks things on my stories like things to just get people engaged with the event over the weekend and yeah just um 
like keep building that momentum and just make it like a fun launch event so keep your fingers crossed for me we would really like some sales but let's see so it's now wednesday and the launch event finished last night at midnight i wanted to just talk about a couple of things before i ended this studio vlog a little bit more about kind of mental health and the impact of mental health on running a business but also running a business on mental health and i want to let you know how the launch went so the launch event was a lot of fun. Like I said on Friday, on the launch day, it was a bad mental health day that day. And to be quite honest, I'm not quite sure how I pulled myself together to do the filming. So although like I kind of looked fine in the vlog, like again, underneath that, you don't know what people are feeling. And yeah, it was a real struggle. But also I was proud of myself for doing the launch and so that kind of did keep me going. Um, over the weekend I didn't pick up the camera to vlog, I just focused on doing my social media content because I knew that I needed to pull back and cut some things out if I was going to look after myself and I was doing a lot of stuff on social media, particularly Instagram really, over the weekend. Lots of reels, lives, video content, posts, loads of things. Um, so I focused on that and that was a lot of fun. It's the first time I've done a kind of launch event as such, spanning a few days and in the lead up and during the launch, I really enjoyed doing different fun things, trying different types of content and seeing what people engage with and got excited about. So that was really good. Um, I liked doing the giveaway. Um, I did lots of little short reels and things. So yeah, really enjoyed that. Um, and that's something I'd like to do more of. However, the kind of pace of it is not something that I could maintain on the day to day. It was a lot of content. Um, and so, yeah, it wouldn't be sustainable <laughs> over the longer term. And I am actually planning on having a bit of a break next week. I'm going away for a few days and I'm really looking forward to kind of having that social media break because I think it is important. In terms of sales, it was an interesting one. Um, obviously you saw me get my first sale and I sold seven products from the new range and I was really, really happy with that. Um, and then over the next few days, it was hard to think like, oh, the launch event is going on and I'm not really getting any sales. And part of me was thinking, well, people might leave it till later in the event. And then you start thinking, well, what if you just don't get any more sales? Um, I ended up with four sales over the launch event um which i'm reasonably happy with um particularly because i know that a lot of small businesses are struggling at the minute to get sales and i am a new business that not many people know about so i'm happy with those four sales but it was mixed feelings about them to be honest the only products i sold from my new range were in that first order I didn't sell any more products this weekend from my new range, which it was hard not to feel a bit disheartened about that, to be honest, I worked so hard on it. But then the other three orders were for the same set of planet inserts that people seem to be liking, my daily, my undated daily schedules. Um, they're available in three different sizes in the shop. And I got three orders of those, including my first international order, which I was super excited about. That's gone out this morning. Um, and so it kind of made me think that the launch event drew people to the shop. They didn't end up purchasing what I thought they would purchase, but they purchased things. And that's a real positive. And it makes me think about maybe what types of products I should focus on moving forwards. So it's given me, yeah, a lot of food for thought. Obviously my YouTube channel is primarily focused around planning, my planning um, inserts now seem to be selling more. So I need to have a think about the types of products that I want to sell, but ultimately they'll all kind of have this overarching goal of like positive products with a kind of overarching message of kind of planning and living a healthier and happier life, whatever that looks like for you. So yeah, lots to think about moving forward for future product launches. But this one, yeah, definitely gave me a lot to think about. And I'm hoping that the products will sell over time. Like my original product range was kind of slow starting and now they're starting to sell more as time's gone on and maybe it will be the same for this launch maybe it won't um but yeah you never know how 
things are going to go and I'm going to give it more time and see if people get behind these products because people did seem to be engaged and excited about them. It is Mental Health Awareness Week this week so I guess I kind of want to end the vlog by saying that it's okay to take some time away like I plan to scale things back a bit now because the launch was very heavy in the lead up and jewellery and I need some recovery time both because of the impact of the launch and just other things going on in my personal life and it's okay to step away sometimes and realise that you need to rest, you need to go at your own pace, whatever that looks like. So yeah, I'm going to end by challenging you to really think about how you're feeling and whether you need to be looking after yourself a little bit more or perhaps encouraging others in your life to do the same. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog. I'm sorry it's been a little bit all over the place with me kind of moving location of where I'm filming and work when in the house and you know all these things um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing the kind of build up to my product launch and how it went. If you like the video please like it and consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber already and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!